when growing up i didn't really like being pretty and people say ha oh, what i'm like i didn't because people would see you for your physical appearance and not for like how you think and for your spirits you know they they wouldn't see the inner beauty they would instead look at the outer beauty so i spent so much time trying to hide this this you know and when i grew older like when i started working i started loving these things again because the world was making me hate how beautiful i was because i would get this unnecessary attention you know men who would look at you and and come and hold your boob because you're pretty and they think they have the right to do that to you because you're pretty you know so i used to hate being pretty but i started loving those things about me my smile my face my body you know and that's when i learned no man has a right to make me feel like ah uh, it's it's a bad thing being pretty is wrong you know and this man is is another example of well i sh- i should have carried on hiding my body because now he saw how pretty i was and he, he abducted me you know sometimes i used to think being pretty is a curse it's because everyone is just looking at you you even grab the wrong attention so i really love those like i started loving these little things about me that were beautiful and cuz i i said to people you know when i walk in a room cuz i'm a i'm a digital marketer so i i own a, a digital marketing business and when it comes to marketing you just come up to somebody and your smile matters your face matters you know your physical appearance matters so i would just get there and i i would nail this marketing thing because of my smile and how i looked you know it really helped me get myself out there so now that these things have been taken away from me it's really hard to market the business it's really hard to be confident to go out there and say uh hey my name is bugela you know cuz the first thing they look at is your gap and think okay they probably beat her up she was drinking you know and yeah now you have to start telling people i oh, know actually i know i have you know you notice that i have a gap and they're like oh, what like ah, i got abducted so you have to keep telling people the story and in telling the story over and over again sometimes you relive things that this man said and you start thinking about things like i should have just not been been pretty you know i should have just stayed covering myself every day wearing baggy clothes and i would be safer you know because being pretty is like a curse and oh, it's, it's terrible <laughs> but yeah i'm 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 slowly getting used to this new me you know the first two weeks i was telling my sisters that you wake up you look at yourself in the mirror and it feels like you're in a different body but you're the same person